Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a minimalist image which is in the style of Little Big Planet. Now if you're new here, these videos that I make are aimed at the beginner who's trying to get better at Photoshop. Remember, you can download all the start images in the description box below. So the inspiration for this image has come from artists like Anish Kapoor, who make circular shapes like this, like the one in Monte Carlo, and it reflects uh, and it's circular in nature. You may also remember the British Gas advert on the television where they have these little globes made, these little worlds made from cartoon figures. And then also there is this art movement called minimalism. It's a photography movement where the scenes are very sparse indeed. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the start image and put it into Photoshop as I have done here. Now this is a fantastic, beautiful minimalist image and what we're going to do is we're going to edit it. Now the first thing we need to do, as always, is we need to go Command and J to duplicate our layer. And this is where we're going to put our little big planet. Okay, so on that layer, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the dimensions of this image into a square. Now the way that we do that is we go up to the image menu icon and we come down to image size and it gives us a whole bunch of options. Now yours will appear like this, where they are joined together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the dimension which is the smallest number, in this instance it's the height, and we're going to go Command and C just to copy that, and then we're going to click the padlock off so these are no longer constrained, and under the width I'm going to paste, so the width and the height the width and the height are now the exact same number, and then I'm going to hit OK. So now I have a square image like this, and I need to create the round little planet effect. Now, if I did it with the image in this orientation, this would appear in the middle of the planet, and I don't want that, I want that on the outside. So what I do to rectify this is I go to Edit, and then I come down to Transform, and then I come down to flip vertically, and this turns the image upside down like that. And it's now at this stage where we can distort the image into the globe. So in order to do that, we come to our filter, and then we come to distort, and then you choose polar coordinates. And uh, I'm just going to minus my way out of this to show you what it would look like, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So what this has done is this has created our little big planet effect. It's very small in the middle of the scene, so I want to make it bigger on my frame. In order to do that, I'm going to zoom out by holding down Command and minus and zoom right out like that. And then I'm going to go Command and T to, for transform. And then I'm going to transform my image so, until it's occupying the vast majority of the scene like this. I'm happy with that. I'm going to apply this transform by pressing the tick or pressing enter. I can zoom back into my image now, so it's command and plus. I'm going to zoom back into my image like this. Now the first thing you'll notice is that we have this line down the middle where the two sides have joined. And what we can do is we can correct that by coming over to the patch tool here. Yours might be under this uh, plaster. And we're going to go down to the patch tool. And with the patch tool, I'm simply going to just draw a little line all the way around my tool like that. And then I'm going to drag this out of the way. And what happens is it copies the area that I that I had moved my patch tool to and places it over there. I don't need these marching ants anymore, so I'm going to Command and D and get rid of that. And that looks absolutely fantastic. I think what would make it even better is if this uh, structure was on the top. So we're going to reverse the uh, transform that we did a moment ago by going Edit and then coming down to Transform. And now we're going to go again to Flip. And this time, again, we're going to go to Flip vertically. And that will now put this at the top. Um, I'm going to get my Move tool and just move it down a bit so it looks like that. And there we have a little big planet. 
Um, I hope you have enjoyed that tutorial. If you have, please do give it a the thumbs up. You can also see other tutorials that are designed for the beginner in mind in the playlist, which is on the screen right now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.